Hello, I'm Annette Mia Flores, and on this episode of High Herstory, I'm going to talk about Ellen Ochoa, the first Latina astronaut. Ellen Ochoa was born in 1958 to two parents, and one of them was named Joseph, and one of them was named Rosanna. Joseph was a first-generation Mexican-American. So Ellen's mother, Rosanna, was in college, and she could only take one class a year, but she always wanted to learn more. So Ellen saw this as a young girl and was like, that's really inspirational to me. I think my mom is super cool and learning is important, so I'm gonna like do that. She graduates as valedictorian, and she's going to college, and she's like, I'm gonna study like medicine and, you know, engineering and math. They were like, I don't know, Ellen Ochoa. Hmm, women don't really study that kind of stuff, you know? If you're gonna go to college, you should do something easier, something more woman-like, maybe like sewing, or maybe like to be a mom. So she was like, all right, I'll go to college and I'll, you know, study science, fine. All the kids in her calculus class are like, this is so hard, why? Oh, math, oh, I hate you. And Ellen Cho is like, why are you stressing, man? This is just like an elective. And they were like, no, this is like what I need to study. And she was like, oh, I'm just here for fun. Weird, this is easy to me. So she graduates college, again, valedictorian. She's like, I'm gonna go to Stanford. And I'm done with this like general science degree stuff. I am gonna study engineering because I love math and I'm really good at it. And you can't stop me. So she goes to Stanford and she's studying engineering and she has like these Stanford friends that they're like, oh, Ellen, we thought about it. And we've decided we're applying for NASA. And Ellen was like, whoa, you know, I never thought that women could be astronauts. But then she remembered Sally Ride, who was the first female astronaut to go into space. And once Sally Ride did it and they showed it on TV and stuff, Ellen Ochoa was like, maybe I could be an astronaut at NASA. So all her friends apply and they're real serious about it. They're like, I know everything about NASA. I'm gonna get in, I'm gonna get in, I'm gonna get in. None of them get in. Who does get in? Ellen Ochoa. And so NASA's like, Ellen Ochoa, you got these patents, you know all about ocular stuff. You're amazing. You know your stuff. You know your shit, Ellen Ochoa. We were thinking you could head up a research lab. So she gets into NASA research and she has this whole team. She's great, she's like, bing, 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 killing it. Discovering stuff, finding planets and everything, figuring out mathematics. And she's also a classical flutist. She's really good at flute. All the while getting her pilot's license and still applying to be an astronaut. She's still like, maybe they'll let me in next time. I'm gonna apply again. And then finally NASA's like, yo, we just didn't think you were ready and now we think you're ready, Ellen Ochoa. Ellen Ochoa's like, okay, great. I can probably do that. I mean, I've done so much other things. I'm just thinking about her at the time and like her hair, it was like the 80s. Uh, and I bet her hair was really curly and, and cool. So it's 1993. And she gets in to a space shuttle and becomes the first Latina astronaut in space. She's on the Discovery shuttle. And she's flying around in orbit taking pictures of the ozone layer, being like, gotta do something about this, it's damaged, coming back down to Earth. She has done over a thousand hours in space. She became the first Latina director of the Johnson Space Center. So she's like important. And NASA loves her. She is so awarded. She has like a million awards. They're all in her closet. She looks at them and she's like, yes, I did so much, but she will tell you, my greatest accomplishment is being able to talk to school children and tell them to stay in school and study and that your education will take you far because 
it took me far. And I learned that from my mom who spent, it took her 22 years to get her degree, but she did get it. She graduated college. I mean, Ellen Ochoa does it all. She's like the superwoman of space. And she had great hair, I think. Even in space, her hair defied gravity.